Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. We are here with the Newton's Cradle Assembly team and we are about to build the world's largest Newton's Cradle. It is morning on day two. We've got the first wall section up. We're going to be building the other side of the cage today and with any luck, lacing the two together. We have to take a break in the middle for a board meeting, but you guys get to watch that as a separate video. This was entirely made possible through massive amounts of effort from all the weird people behind me massive donations from companies like 8020 who builds the coolest industrial erector set you've ever seen we're going to be doing lots of videos on their stuff um, car lane donated all the cables that we're using to lace it together and 900global.com donated all the bowling balls that we'll be using and they were specially made you're going to learn about every step in the process as we go along and basically it's a whole lot of bolting stuff together in a really big room you guys have fun follow along and we'll have more as it happens thanks Would I have notches like this we want to left justified brackets? Okay. okay. So it's this, this from here to the next one. That's that's the, the hard number. That's the hard number. Everything else, we need a gap at the bottom big enough for the width of this. Yeah. And oh, then we need this a, side yeah. angle just so we don't use it. And give us a little bit of the So from this This edge right here. From this edge here uh -huh. to this edge here is your regulation diameter of a bowling ball. Yeah, you agree? Alright, so the, the start of each cut will be the 8.14. Double check that number. I check it three times, but I'll check the first one. Okay. Cool. Alright, you're going to do the CNC and get all this done. You're going to build this wall. Here, you want to see how these go together? Here, take a look. The angle pieces are kind of cool. These came pre-drilled with, with a bolt and the backer plate already mounted. You put it in really loose, like that, and then line it up into the channel. You put that one in, and that gives us our rough place. Now on this one, because this bar is really heavy, Here's the other way to do it. You leave the bolt in there with its washer. When you put these in the channel on their own, you want to make sure to have the back going into the channel. So you just slide that right in there. And you can bring it down with your finger. Get it to about where you want it. Now when I put it in there, you'll see that you turn it backwards one turn and push a little bit and like you're unscrewing it, but pushing in and you'll feel it pop and that way you know that you're at the right spot and you won't cross thread it or anything like that. So now that's in there, but it's still very loose. I can, I can wiggle it around and that'll let me maneuver everything. But you wanna, you gotta plan ahead when working with this stuff because once the seam is together, it's really hard to come back and put it in. Now, on the bigger pieces, this is what they look like on the inside. On the outside, it's, it's just the basic, they look like rivets even. But on the inside, they're paired up. And you want to plan ahead when you do these so that they all point the right direction. This is a T-fitting, so they go like this. You have them nice and loose. You just slide them right in. It's really easy. And then take this one. You can just set it on a thing if it makes it easier.
I need a couple, I need a, give me a 2x4 block. I'm going to need two 2x4 blocks, please. Everybody. We're back here again, putting the uh, corner together again. Uh, we just had a little bit of a problem where I put things in wrong and now got to do them all right. Um, these here are the ball hangers. The uh, cables that will hold the balls are actually hooked onto these. And there are six cross beams that go side to side across the top. And we have seven hangers between each beam. I've already put seven hangers on here already. So the next thing is to put the supports in that will hold the cross beam. I have a double high and a single high that go facing each other like that, if I can hold it. So the beam will go in between here. And I have those two pieces on, so now I get seven more ball hangers. Sure we got the right number. Two, four, six, seven. Then we go ahead and put in the supports for the next cross beam. Make sure our screws are in far enough so they don't fall out. And we go in the top two here and the top one here. So there's the second beam. And then seven more of these. Uh, not quite. I got the end gusset that I got to get on. pieces we need for the cross supports and the ball hangers on this end. We have a, uh, another gusset plate that will go on the end here. And I need that bar going that way right now, Duck. This one? Yeah, pull it towards you, please. I need it all the way. Yep, that's good. Okay. I'm going to put this guy in from this end to start with. Oh yeah. Where's that piece supposed to go? Well, it's, what, it's going to be rotated around okay. 180 degrees. I'm just holding it this way to get it started. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to make sure. Did you get the thing in? 
Yeah, I got it right up there. Now you can flip it around. Yeah, I got it. I'll handle this. You fight that. That one you're going to have to put I know that into that. Okay, fine. Well, I've done this once or twice. Okay, this guy goes in like so. Thank you, sir. Okay, where you want it? Okay, bring it in. You ain't got a wrench. That's right. You got the screw shooter. You run in here, Paul. I'm just doing this all. We're supposed to be professionals. Yeah. Now, you tighten up. I'm going to the other end to get the other stuff loaded on. All right, I'm going to tighten all of this. Ah! I need two screws. The first one, it can be two inches. Okay. That would be fine.
Hoist out. Stop. Watch out, baby. Hoist out. Good. Take. 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 Stop. Stop. down down fast stop up take here I'll take the horse ends up sharper We can get about well, six inches with that one, the DeWalt cabinet. That's all right. Move the DeWalt cabinet here. Set that down. Paul, where's the Allen wrench? Thank you. You and Dave, move the DeWalt cabinet straight that way. Just kick it out of the way, and that'll get us in there. And then we'll move, move, move everything you can around the corner. This is on wheels. So just pull it out of the way. I'm going to start the prep on this though. We just want the same size. Actually, yeah. yeah. All right. Help her move that stuff right around the corner.
You two see if you could wrestle the turret box out of the corner. about two more inches. Watch out. Oop, almost. Watch out. Watch out. Hang on, Paul. I'm not doing anything right now. Come on in, Dave. Try it. It's fine. It's fine. Paul, oh, come. Stop. Hang on. Hang on. Paul, oh, come to me a half inch. Come to me a half inch. Yes. Stop. Hold your position. I have a suggestion on how to get the, the next, the wow. remaining ones after this. What? Wow. Carry it over to him, he's going to have to go up on the fourth floor. Yeah. Yeah. All right. On each other, you got a set that you have to make. Yeah. If you set this thing spread a little bit, yeah. and you start with the rail down there, you'll have this gap on either end. Yeah. You can get them set in, and then slide the thing down the length. It'll get narrower until the thing's at the right width. You bring it all the way down here and put it snug so it's not going to fall out, and you get all six rails lined up there. Yeah. And then, yeah. you then you start you slide it in where it's supposed to be. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Short term. I'm going to get this up and roughly in position. Get the big ladder, the big orange ladder. We're going to need it. Yeah. All right, Moose, um, you're going to back up and get centered right in the middle of the bridge. Go get the ladder. Where's the ladder? It's next to the... Uh, it's right there off the end of the studio. No, I'm going to do this. Carefully? Yeah. It's not a big deal. Yeah. 
You got lots of wiggle room up there. All right, I need another Hold ladder. On. Hold on. Moose, go get the, the forklift thing now. Moose. Go the rolling ladder. Call if you stop, stop, stop. I know the rail doesn't go across. But come forward. I'm not going to stand there. Stop. Coming up. Bring it up. I got elevation. No, no, go over. The, the, you're going to have to come down on top of the, on the better side of the dust. You want to go down and try again? No, I'm not going I believe we'll use some of the faster ones. Alright, I'm going to go down. Yeah, go down. Stand by. Alright, you got it. I can give you some ground support. No, you're a camera. Alright, I'm in the box. Okay. Bring it towards me very gently. Hold on. The other one on the other side has to match it. Way that way, go that way. It's good for me. I'm not gonna you want me to tighten that, what do I need to tighten it with? This. Yeah, why don't you send it up? When you're done. Never. I haven't been able to do that since I was 12. <laughs> if I do that nowadays, oh, I'm thinking I'm off. Hey, Paul. Yeah. There's a sign on the ladder here that says, never climb on back legs. Yeah, I know. Well, what are you doing, Doug? I'm standing on these extra runnings they put over on this side. What, what are they called? <laughs> I think they're called back legs. I didn't climb on the back legs. This is the leg. Over here, I have a program set up in the CNC machine. We're going to be cutting out a gauge for the bowling balls. Bowling balls have to be spaced apart very precisely. A bowling ball is 8.496 inches wide. So I made a gauge that has a gap that is 8.496 inches wide. You can see on the screen here, it is going through a simulation. That is what it looks like as it's cutting. It is a little awkward. It's going to do the top layer from each one of the gauges and then go back to the beginning, but it was the easiest way to program it. 
I didn't want to spend an hour programming it. Everything checks out okay, so we can stop our simulation. And we're going to start over there. Yeah, but it is. 